Hello everybody, this is Steve Branch. And I'm Marlon Dean, and we are Branch and Dean. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, this interview is the first thing that really needs to be highlighted is the song The Dash. It's yeah. astonishing. It's sad but uplifting. Right. Both at the same time. Um, could you talk a little bit about the song? Yeah. And you, you know, uh, we say this a lot, but music's intended to change lives, and we never knew when we wrote The Dash that we'd be changing our own lives. That's right, and The Dash is that little line between... Uh, the year you're born and the year you pass, you know, and what are you going to do with your dash? And I had a son, uh, actually March 15th would be two years that he's passed from cystic fibrosis. And one of the things my son wanted to do was he wanted to be a spokesperson for CF. And uh, unfortunately he wasn't able to do that. So um, we kind of found a new meaning for uh, music and it's music with a purpose. And when my son passed, uh, I called the uh, CF chapter in Jacksonville, Florida, and Dean called the one in Nashville and just kind of was telling them the story, and they already knew about it. Apparently they follow everybody that has CF, and they knew that he had passed, and we told them we had this song, and they made us national celebrity ambassadors for cystic fibrosis. That's right. We're national celebrity am ambassadors for cystic fibrosis. We've gone all over the country to the different cystic fibrosis chapters and, uh, you know, helped raise... I think over a million dollars going to these galas and um, we got a big tour coming up um, a live your dash tour that we've been working on for some time where 100 percent of the proceeds go to cystic fibrosis and you know I can tell you out of watching my my brother here go through mortal hell you know losing a son we talk about this a lot you know uh, we believe looking back now you know God's got a purpose and our purpose it, it, we're, and we're so humbled to have it is knowing that a song can change people's lives for the better, and we've seen it. Branch and Dean may never be George Strait, we may never be Brooks and Dunn, but I can tell you this, our music has touched people's hearts, and that's that's okay with us. That means the world to us. Yeah, I bet. And um, I was thinking, like, I, when you said in the bio it has that line, you know, it's, it's music with a purpose. And for a lot of people, when they start out their career, I think they start out with music for a purpose because to, they, to get famous or to get money right. or women, right. <laughs> right. all, all of the above. Right. Um, do you feel like you had to kind of go through that evolution too where you had to learn what the purpose was of your songs? Um, you know, it's, uh, uh, it, we just believe that it happened the way God wanted it to happen. We started sure. off... Uh, in country music probably close to a year uh, before my son had passed but then when my son passed well I always taught my kids God has a reason and a purpose for everything and one of the things my son said to me uh, you know the last couple of weeks of his life he sat up in his bed and he said he said dad I know God's got a reason for me having cystic fibrosis he said but I don't know what it is. And I broke down right then because I didn't know. I didn't know what it was either at that moment. I just didn't know. I wish I did. I wish I could tell him now. Uh, I know the reason now why he had cystic fibrosis. And it's because, you know, this song came together and it has touched many, many lives. Many lives. That's right. And not only through the song, well, through the song, it's touched a lot of people. But because of that song, a lot of the parents that have lost kids not even to yeah. cf they could be brain tumors or uh cancer or anything uh they're able to contact me you know through the branch and dean facebook page and uh, uh we just kind of talk about how we get by you know and yeah. i and i just i tell them about god you know because god is what helps me get through it all and and, and the yeah. peace yeah. the peace that i have knowing that there's a heaven and and it helps helps you a lot of families. What do you think it is that you can achieve with a song? And I, I say you, not necessarily you, right. but just that one can achieve with a song that you well, might not be able to do with any other form of language. Well, I'll tell you what, it's um, um, it, it's pretty amazing to us because going back to your last question, you know, I think everybody, you go into the music business thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to be famous, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. Branch of Dean's foundation will always be the dash, no matter where we go, what yeah. we do, how it could get huge, you know, it could, and it's, I mean, we've been blessed already, but um, knowing, knowing and seeing what a song it can do to somebody, you know, and, and you know, we, we, 
we visit a lot of people in the hospital with, with cystic fibrosis, and this translates to the masses, too. It's not just about cystic fibrosis. That's not what the DASH is about, but uh, we were visiting country radio, and uh, we were we always stop by and see the CF chapters because there's 80 chapters in the nation. Mm-hmm. We're in Hershey, Pennsylvania. A long story short, the chapter head said, you know, my daughter's in the hospital. Um, could you come by? Could you send her a picture? We said, we'll do one better. We'll, we'll come see her in the hospital. So we wound up, we played played the dash for her and half the hospital and the chapters. And, you know, when, when, when we got finished, she stood up, and I never will forget this, or not stood up. She sat up in her hospital bed. She had oxygen on her. She said, don't stop. It's important. And that touched us to the core because, back to your question, you know, here we are chasing our dream. This girl's fighting for her life, and she's worried about everybody else. Yeah. So... If someone that's fighting for their life, music can touch them like that, and they can understand that you can learn a lot from people that are, you know, that are ill and, you know, that have to live their dash because they don't know when it's going to, you know, yes. when, when it's yeah. thrown in their face that it could be end at any time. You can learn a lot from those people. And, you know, Alyssa Kibler taught us a lot, along with Darren and, and, and hundreds of other people right. we know, you know, that, that music with a purpose will always be Branch of Dean's foundation. Yeah. And one of the things that I thought was so moving for me is I think our society doesn't like vulnerability. <laughs> Showing ourselves in our vulnerable moments is not done. Right. A lot in entertainment especially. Um, but I think it's pure courage. So when if you come out and you say, this happened to me and now I want to help other people, I think that's courageous. That's a great, great thing to do. How has your view of that altered, of just being honest about real life, not pretending about anything? Just well, what goes on goes on and you bring that to your music. You know, I think that uh, we believe that real will always sell. Not that we're trying to sell it, but people cling to real. Yeah. You know, and in this society... You know, it is a lot harder to get to people's emotions nowadays because there's so much stuff and they're so quick to judge you because everything is so fabricated and fake. Um, so when something real uh, like this story, you know, comes out, it penetrates. And, and when it when it penetrates, it stays with you. And, and I believe that's why the success we've had thus far, you know, the people... The people that it's touched, it's really touched them. You know, we uh, we played a, a perfect example. Uh, we played a, a show with CF um, a couple weeks back here in Nashville, and Jonathan Kane, a journey, was there. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he wrote, Don't Stop Believing, he's in the band. And we told him while we were backstage, we're, we're from Jacksonville, Florida. And, and uh, he just... We played the dash, and you know it just touched him so much, and he kept saying how much it touched him, and he was so gracious of what we were doing. And this guy's they've sold I don't millions, millions yeah, of yeah, they're big time. Well, he texted us yesterday, and he's like, "Hey guys, you guys have been on my heart, you know, play in your hometown. Won't you guys be backstage with me in March?" So you know, I mean, just that's that's just a kind of a glorified example of. You know, if something penetrates through all the information we have today, it sticks with you. You know, that's you know, that's a guy that, that's a superstar, and you know, he thought about us because the message touched him, not Branch Dean. The message that's touched right. him. Yeah. And then perhaps the most important question is, um, what can people do to support the search for a cure? Where can they go? How can they help? Well, they can go to any of the local CF chapters. You know, any any just about every state's got them. Uh, and you can go through the Branch and Dean page. We've got stuff on there. Yeah, uh, and you can, on the Branch and Dean page, first of all, you can you join our fight with, with right. a like. Like us on the Branch and Dean page because um, what we've learned is our, our platform, um, and this is what CF has taught us, you know, we kind of want to be bigger and bigger stars, not for ourselves anymore, but we've seen with a platform, Awareness is everything, and you yeah. can touch so many more people. So through the Facebook page, you through, can keep them up to date. Yeah, right. they can like yeah. us on Facebook. If you buy our albums, right now a portion of the proceeds go to Cystic Fibrosis. So you can go to Branch and Dean Facebook, like us, go to branchanddean.com, buy the album. Um, you know, we are we, we got a tour coming to your city, so you can yeah, please be, come out and support us there. Support us. And, All and the money goes to CF. There. So so it's just going to be. Uh, um, it's going to be a big year. Big year, be a big for year. sure. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank, thank you, you so much.